Welcome back! This is probably the most popular sealed lead acid battery type in the world, after the car battery of course. They are widely used in electronic devices, which needs a 12 volts constant power supply. Sooner or later they end their life and should be replaced. The same situation happened with this particular battery. It is dead flat with a bit more than 1 volt of charge. Instead of buying a new lead acid battery, I recycle and improve by converting it to a lithium ion battery. To disassemble, the easiest way will be to cut along this line with a hacksaw. Before taking any disassemble action, make sure your battery is totally flat or has not more than 1 or 2 volts of charge. In case you have a bigger voltage, drain it, with a 12 volt car bulb for example. Here is how it looks inside. Those better looking battery banks were removed very easily in one piece, which could not be told about those crusty brown ones. They oxidized and expanded, which trapped those banks inside their compartment. Scratching and picking piece by piece released the tension and finally the battery body was empty. Next I need to remove this internal divider. I started with thin snips to remove the major part and what's left finish with the chisel. The case is ready, let's talk about the batteries. For this project I'll use this pile of INR18650-20R batteries made by Samsung. They are rated for 2000 mAh of capacity and could give up to 22 amps of maximum discharge current. As you can see, they were spot welded already, and the reason is, I recycled them already from a pair of DeWalt 36 volts faulty batteries which I cheaply bought online. If I remember correctly, those cells have 80 euro cents per cell on an average cost, which is a steal. Those cells were fully tested, and important information was written on each cell, like the voltage which cell had when it was recycled and the measured capacity. I leave a link in the video description to a full explanation video of how to recycle, test and separate good usable cells from the trash. I will make 3S 7P battery configuration, which means 3 group of cells connected in series while in each series group will have 7 cells connected in parallel. I want each group in series to have as close as possible capacity, so I rearrange some cells. Now each group of 7 cells will have almost identical measured capacity. To keep cells in place I 3D printed the simple battery holder. A similar holder could be bought online too, but the 3D printed option was a time saver for me instead of waiting the order. Before connecting cells, I checked if all were within close voltage. They do, so I took 0.15mm of thickness pure nickel strips and spot welded all parallel cells first. After that, connected those three group in series. And if everything was done right, I should get around 12 volts. Additionally, I tripled the nickel strips on the main positive and negative battery pack terminals. This was done to avoid any heating and increase resistance issues when I will pull maximum amps from the battery pack. To keep those groups of cells nicely balanced, ensure proper charge and discharge, I'll use this 3S 40 amps BMS module. It is designed for 3S battery configuration and could handle continuous 40 amps load with short peaks of 60 amps of peak current for any 12 volt device. In the market could be found two very similar looking 3S 40 amps BMS modules. Take your attention and choose the proper one with a balancing function 
while another one has protection from overcharge and over discharge only. The best visual difference is this part. On BMS with balancing feature you will see three big resistors. I will leave a link in the video description for the right product. Presolder at all terminals and with insulating sticky spacer BMS was glued on the battery pack. One by one soldered battery pack terminals to the BMS board by starting from the most negative one. And lastly, soldered a pair of silicon wires on the main BMS terminals. Before placing battery pack inside the old battery case, I sanded down both surfaces to a perfect joint. To keep the battery pack inside sturdy, I glued small plastic parts around the battery perimeter. Presoldered all terminals and soldered negative and positive battery wires to them. All exposed cells were covered with insulating sticky paper. Mix 5 minutes epoxy and glued battery case back to one piece. And this is it. Recycled 9 amp hours lead acid battery to 14 amp hours lithium ion battery. It not only has 50% increased capacity, but also weights more than twice less. This battery could be charged with a smart charger like IMAX B6 or any constant voltage power supply with 12.6 volts. At the moment, this battery could give up to 40 amps of continuous and 60 amps of peak current for any 12 volt device because that's the BMS limitation. In case you need more, there is an option to bypass the BMS module and connect directly to the battery terminals through the fuse for safety reasons. In that case, the maximum discharge current of this battery pack will be pushed up to a stunning 154 amps. I hope this was helpful, thanks for watching and till the next time, bye.